Hello. I'm just uh, lying down here on the couch. And uh, I was going to get up and take a walk outside, but my back decided to strongly suggest that I lay down. So I'm relatively horizontal in my lower back. And I've been thinking about the heart. And uh, the declouding of the heart. You know, the heart itself can't be lost, can't be sullied, can't be locked. In much the same way that the world is not blurry, when you have your glasses off, putting your glasses on helps you to see how things already are though perhaps forgotten by you or unknown to you. It is in fact how they are. So the heart is already there, whether or not we perceive it as clouded or covered or locked. Much as the sun remains behind the clouds on a cloudy day that we think of as dim. And so, a meditation, a direction of attention when the heart feels muddled or clouded or fractured, confused or lost or misplaced, or in some way seemingly unknown to you, is to touch in on the idea that it is there and it's unchanging. What changes is the lens through which it's perceived. So perhaps you've lost your glasses or they're dirty or you need a new prescription. And so, rather than arresting, or transforming, or disregarding, or moving beyond any pain clouding the heart or confusion, the idea of the meditation is to touch in on what's truly there, without waiting for the clouds to pass or transform, without trying to work through them or past them. Just to touch in on an absolute knowing, a, uh, a real knowing of the abiding heart, the place of connection to other, So what I'm doing is trying to breathe into my breast, trying to breathe into my heart, not the belly and not the lungs, but the heart. Physiologically, that's not exactly what happens. It's not far from what happens physiologically. The idea here is to feel the breath enter the body and find rather immediately the heart to warm it to fuel it but the visualization for me is to feel it be cleansed and not the heart of course you know it's the lens through which we see the heart whatever is between 
our mind and our heart is what becomes cleansed by the breath. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So catalyzing no need to shift, to change. Recognizing that the heart itself is abiding eternally as it is. And so we breathe not to change the heart, but to re-reveal it, to re-recognize it, to re-return to it, to re-relive in it. And so through the discomfort, the somberness, the guilt, the jealousy, the anger, the fracturing. We touch in on a deep and true recognition that the heart itself has not changed, even though our language seems to suggest that it might have. So, In the face of the difficulties, we feel our way into a truth beyond these clouds, a solidity beyond these brokennesses. The ability to feel the dawn at midnight the ability to feel the abiding heart through the storm. I'm simply breathing into the heart without intent to change. can help us to feel, return to a deeper knowing that there's an, an immutability ever presently, immortally living beyond your pain, beyond your choice to suffer. So, we'll do three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Warm in so lost if thank you. Good night.